if you want to put peroxide or Clorox into your water heater, like I need to occasionally because this water heater sits around for several months without being used. Uh, there was a video by a YouTube user named Apache Ranch who put together a nice detailed YouTube. And uh, I took some of those ideas and I made my own system. Um, and what we, what we see here is the cold water uh, source has a valve and um, I put this T and the source going into my T and then I put a, a ball valve here and this is really just a funnel. I can remove that so that that's not sitting there all the time. Uh, but basically I put that on there and then I can pour either Clorox or, or peroxide into there. And the way it works is I shut off this, um, the source water. And then uh, with that off, then I can um, drain a little bit of water out the bottom using a screwdriver. So I hook up a little, a short little three or four foot hose and then that can go into a bucket. And um, so the system is pressurized right now. I can't, I can't open this without doing that. And I don't want to take the time to get the screwdriver and, and uh, open and, and relieve the pressure. Um, but once, once you let the water out the bottom into your bucket, then you have no pressure inside and you can open this valve and pour your chemical in and it'll just drain right on in. And um, <clears throat> you'll find that if you open this up, you only want to let out a little bit of water. Once you open this, you're going to be letting air into the, into the tank. And then the, uh, this water will just flow. So you'll need to shut that off after you've drained it a little bit. And then you can pour your chemical in and then close this off and open this up. Take that off and, and, uh, uh, and go rinse out the chemicals. So basically that's all there is to it. And um, this is a, a really great uh, system. Very easy to do. You can put in a very small amount of chemical and treat it more frequently um, because it's so easy to do.